Somebody in here is this close to quit and we need you to hold on. Wanda Draper, the new executive director of the Reginald Lewis Museum in Baltimore, wants groups like this using the museum to be the norm. These 82,000 square feet of space aren't just for people to come and stand and look at what's on the walls or what's on exhibit. It's for us to come and interact and use. And we have the campaign for black American achievement, black male achievement going on now. And we have 50 young men in learning how to be successful and accomplished African American males. She knows her way around this facility, having served on the founding board eight years ago which helped raise the $38 million to get it off the ground. She'd been asked several times to leave the museum, but turned down the offer. The recent ask just seemed to click. My whole goal is to make this museum sustainable and attainable, and most of all, to make it available to our community. This new version of the Lewis Museum hopes to capitalize on exhibits that bring in visitors, like the one that's here now the Jacob Lawrence Collection. This is a collection of 50 pieces of Jacob Lawrence's amazing work, all owned by Marylanders who loaned them to us. Mm -hmm. And so this exhibit will be here until January 7th, and at, after January 7th, you'll never see it again because it all goes back to the hands of private owners. When you're in the heart of Baltimore's tourist district, you have to be inviting. We know that people are coming not only from around the city, around the state, and around the country, but we have people coming from around the world. Draper doesn't see her work at the Lewis Museum as a challenge, but rather an opportunity. In Baltimore, I'm Charles Robinson for Your Money and Business.